live blood analysis, dark field microscopes, phase contrast, qualitative live cell imaging. Whatever flavor terminology or lighting mode you use for your work with the microscope, when you are imaging live blood to a TV screen, nothing is prettier or gives you more image dynamic range than when you are using great phase contrast optics, such as you will find on these Olympus Biomedics configured microscopes. In this video, we're going to look at using the 100x oil phase contrast objective on this scope. Okay, so we have a specimen before us of pretty ugly blood, and there's a white blood cell right in the middle here. And let's say we wanted to look at it uh, in a little bit more, with a little bit more magnification. So I can come down here and I could just simply hit my zoom and zoom in on it. Now this is a digital zoom, so though it increases the image size, it doesn't give us any more resolution. Now sometimes it's okay for what we're, wanna, what we're wanting to look at because bigger, uh, our eye fills in a lot of detail of things. But sometimes we might want to look at something with even greater detail and more magnification. And if we wanted higher resolution, more magnification, and we wanted to move beyond just using a non-oil objective, which is what this is, we would need to go to the oil objective. The next objective up, this is a 40x phase contrast non-oil objective. The next objective is a 100x oil phase objective. So I'm just going to move what I want to look at right into the center of the screen. I would rotate the 40x out of the way. Then I would put a drop or two of oil right where the objective is going to slide into place. I've got my oil there and now I'll move my 100x in place. I shift it back and forth to kind of set the oil. Now because this is a 100x ob X objective, if we were to look at the objective you'd see it says pH 3 on the objective and that would tell us we actually need to rotate our turret to pH 3. So the phase annulus here now matches the phase annulus on the objective. Now we're assuming here that we've adjusted the phase annulus appropriately using a phase centering telescope and our little adjustment knobs that are 45 degrees to the back on either side of the condenser here under the stage. So I've got my oil there and I do need to focus. So now I am focused in. I've got more than double the magnification of the 40x objective. And you can see here that there's, it's much clearer than if we were to just use the zoom on the camera itself. Now we still could zoom in on this and we can get that white blood cell fairly large on screen. And we could see more detail here with the granules moving around and the nuclei. So this is our 100x phase objective view. If we wanted a little bit more resolution still, I could pull this little top lens out and I could oil the top lens and slide it back into place. It gets a little messy to do that but that will give us a little bit more resolution. The numerical aperture of the condenser lens here is 1.25, so we certainly can oil that top lens. So I'll show you the difference pulling this out and oiling the top condenser. Top condenser lens there. As I slide this in, Some of that oil is going to ooze out, and I may need to move this back and forth a little bit. And now I've got just a little higher resolution in that image. Ideally, we would have this 100x out of place. I would actually drop the stage down, remove my slide, and I would oil that top lens, then I would put the slide right on top of that oil and rotate my 
100x in place and then bring the stage up meeting the uh, meeting the right focus point. But the way that I just did that of pulling this out, putting the oil on the top lens, we could also do that. It just make sure you have to um, make sure you clean this when it's done. You probably can't see it right now, but there's a little drop of oil. There's a little ridge around that top condenser lens and that is designed to catch the oil. At the end of the day, or at the end of uh, when you're done looking at the slide, you do need to get in there with a chem wipe and clean that oil up. Here we are looking at a 100x oil objective. We've zoomed in digitally a little bit on this image, on this white blood cell. We are not using a green filter. Green filter will give us a little bit more contrast. Here's what that image looks like when we put the green filter in place. Put the green filter in place. We have to reset for our white balance. Otherwise, everything is green, obviously. And this is now that white blood cell with the green filter in place.